Welcome to Psicologia Channel. This is review number one. These are practice test questions in developmental psychology. In this video, test your knowledge and understanding of key concepts in the field. Get ready to challenge yourself with 10 thought-provoking questions, each followed by four options. But here's the twist. You just have three seconds to answer before the correct response is provided along with a brief explanation. Are you ready? Let's dive in and test your knowledge. Question number one. At what stage of Piaget's cognitive development does object permanence typically emerge? A. Sensory motor stage B. Pre-operational stage C. Concrete operational stage or D. Formal operational stage The answer is letter A, sensory motor stage. According to Piaget, object permanence is the understanding that objects continue to exist even when they are out of sight. This typically emerges during sensory motor stage, which occurs from birth to approximately two years of age. Question number two. Which of the following factors is most likely to have a significant impact on a child's attachment style? A. Genetic predisposition B. Socioeconomic status C. Birth order or D. Temperament The answer is D. Temperament While all the factors listed can influence a child's attachment style, temperament plays a crucial role. Temperament refers to an individual's innate behavioral and emotional characteristics, which can influence their attachment relationship with primary caregivers. Question number three. In the context of Eric Erikson's psychosocial theory, what is the primary developmental task during adolescence? A. Trust versus mistrust, B. Autonomy versus shame and doubt, C. Identity versus role confusion, or D. Generativity versus stagnation. The answer is letter C. Identity versus role confusion. According to Erickson, Adolescence is the stage where individuals develop a sense of personal identity. They explore different roles and possibilities, and successful resolution leads to a strong sense of self, while failure results in confusion regarding their identity and life direction. Question number four. Which parenting style is associated with the most positive developmental outcomes for children? A. Authoritarian. B. Permissive C. Authoritative D. Neglectful The answer is C. Authoritative Research consistently shows that authoritative parenting style characterized by high levels of warmth and responsiveness combined with appropriate levels of control and discipline leads to the most positive developmental outcomes for children. This style promotes independence, self-esteem, and social competence. Question number five. According to Lawrence Goldberg's theory of moral development, at which stage do individuals follow rules to avoid punishment? A. Pre-conventional B. Conventional C. Post-conventional or D. Autonomous The answer is A. Pre-conventional In Kohlberg's theory, the pre-conventional stage is the first level of moral development. At this stage, individuals make moral decisions based on self-interest and avoiding punishment. Question number 6. Which of the following represents a primary source of influence on gender development? A. 
genetic factors, B. Cultural norms, C. Parental expectations, or D. Peer relationships. The answer is letter A. Genetic factors. While all the options listed can contribute to gender development, gender factors, including the influence of sex chromosomes and hormones, play a primary role in shaping an individual's biological predisposition towards male or female characteristics. Question number 7. What is the primary objective of behavior modification techniques used in operant conditioning? A. Shaping behavior through rewards and punishments. B. Analyzing unconscious desires and conflicts. C. Promoting insight and self-awareness. D. Enhancing the therapeutic alliance. The answer is letter A. Shaping behavior through rewards and punishments. Behavior modification techniques in operant conditioning aim to shape behavior by reinforcing desired behaviors and discouraging undesired behaviors through the use of rewards and punishments. Question number 8. Which of the following is an example of a fine motor skill? A. Running B. Jumping C. Grasping a small object D. Kicking a ball The answer is letter C. Grasping a small object Fine motor skills involve the coordination of small muscles, such as those in the hands and fingers. Grasping a small object requires precise control and coordination, making it an example of a fine motor skill. Question number 9. How might a teacher apply Vygotsky's concept of Zone of Proximal Development or ZPD in the classroom? A. Assigning individual tasks to students. B. Providing step-by-step -step instructions for all tasks. C. Grouping students by ability level. Or D. Offering guided assistance and scaffolding. The answer is letter D. Offering guided assistance and scaffolding. Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development, or ZPD, refers to the difference between what a learner can do independently and what they can achieve with assistance. In the classroom, teachers can apply this concept by providing guided assistance and scaffolding to help students accomplish tasks just beyond their current level of competence. Question number 10. Which theoretical perspective emphasizes the importance of social interactions in cognitive development? Letter A. Piaget's Cognitive Developmental Theory Letter B. Erickson's Psychosocial Theory Letter C. Bandura's Social Learning Theory Or D. Freud's Psychoanalytic Theory The answer is Letter C. Bandura's Social Learning Theory Bandura's Social Learning Theory posits that cognitive development is influenced by observing and imitating others in social interactions. It emphasizes the role of modeling, reinforcement, and observational learning in shaping behavior and cognitive processes. Congratulations on completing the practice test questions in developmental psychology. How did you do? Remember, Continuous learning and practice are key to mastering this fascinating field. Stay curious and keep exploring the intricacies of human development. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more engaging content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.